bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all! That sounded... Made it. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? <sighs> Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. No. Fuck! Oh, shit. Uh, fucking... What? The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious, but if you can do it, Ador will let us into the center. Civilizations, but a whim of civilizations.
Hey, Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. I guess that means I should wait here. King Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. It's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard, has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me or I'm watching over him. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. to your health. I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet, kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was 10 years old. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. 
You think killing Monsieur's cock and cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. Damn coyotes. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? 
She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar and for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. Looks like Sophie's not here. I better Dinkui look for must, her. Must be. Dad, it's still early. Just the... Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went... She said... Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with the... Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I...? Sure. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. Vincenzo! Le to find the only family. Did you? I hope you said... Who? Federico. He was my best friend. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a... One day, for the... I'm sure, you see. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier, with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one of the... Then, every day, I... I hope he's alive, and that you find him someday. Then your hearts. Uh, uh, I'm here. 
How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan... I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your help! I love you! What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. And they led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There, on the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. the peacekeepers are watching us. I'll let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Come get some. 
plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Ready for this? Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. <laughs>
Aiden, if you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aiden. I don't work for Aiden, I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? Because we can help each other. Who killed Lucas? He thinks we killed him. Sophie, talk to me. Did you do it? No. Sophie, what the hell? Why do you care about this murderer? What did Ator promise you? Ator promised me passage to the center. That's why I'm helping him. And you believe him? Just like that? At least he didn't try to kill me. He wasn't the one you betrayed. But I can help you too. Help us with the water, and I'll take you to the central loop myself. Okay, first, I did not betray you. I'm helping investigate a murder, and that's different. As for your offer, isn't the only way through controlled by the- There is another way. Do you really believe that I'd just try- We need each other. You didn't tell us you were careful. You tried to kill me, Sophie. I swear on the memory of Bertie, Susie, Logan. If you help us, we'll take- Will you help? Fine. Jack and Joe. For fuck. We'll deal with it. How do I get up the tower? So. If you.